This behemoth of a roller coaster is called Aranguasi. This huge hybrid roller coaster combining wood and steel could be one of the best roller coasters in the world, if not the best. I'm gonna talk about everything you need to know before riding Aranguasi, and I'm also gonna be answering if this roller coaster really is the best roller coaster in the world. So stay tuned and hear more in this review. For the sake of the audience attention span, I'm gonna go over this roller coaster as quickly as possible, but I'm still gonna talk about all the juicy ejecta time on this roller coaster. Aranguasi is located near the front by the entrance of this park, and Aranguasi is very easy to see because it stands 206 feet and that is 63 meters making it the tallest hybrid coast in the world while we're at it Aranguasi also hit 76 miles per hour at the bottom of the first drop and that is 122 kilometers per hour and that is also the fastest hybrid coast in the world the overall presentation of this ride is also pretty neat Aranguasi really looks awesome with its purple track and then its brown wooden structure the main entrance facade is themed to a jungle cabin mixed with green and purple colors and this entrance logo of Iron Guasio also looks cool. And these purple and green colors can also be seen on the RMC trains of this roller coaster. And let me tell you, this roller coaster train looks awesome with the crocodile in the front. In terms of comfort, we have the typical RMC lap bars and chin guards. And I get these could be a bit uncomfortable for many people, but I think they're all right. Before we go in depth with the whole ride layout, it's very important to mention that Iron Guasio's operations has been very bad lately. It really takes a lot of time for the ride operators to send trains out on Iron Guasi right now and Iron Guasi is a completely different ride experience if you ride it later in the day this roller coaster really warms up so if you only have time for one ride on Iron Guasi just wait till later in the day now it's time for the good stuff let's go through the whole layout Iron Guasi has a very weird and janky pre-lift section Iron Guasi quickly dips under the queue line and turns to the left giving strong lateral g-forces which could be uncomfortable for many after that Guasi starts to go up its huge lift hill then Iron Guasi goes down its 91 degree crazy first drop giving floater airtime for the front row and ejector airtime for the back row passengers. With great pace, Iron Guasi flies up into an outer bank airtime hill. This outer bank gives strong ejector airtime throughout the whole train. Then Iron Guasi flies all the way back to the ground with great pace where it goes under the structure giving a head chopper element and then it flies up into the next element. Iron Guasi banks to the right and goes up a huge hill before hitting the insane death roll. This inversion can be described as a downwards barrel roll. This element gives strong lateral forces in the front and crazy lateral g-forces in the back row. With insane pace, Iron Guasi flies through an overbank turn. This short and weepy overbank gives strong positive g-forces for the riders. After that, Iron Guasi aggressively flies over the station and into a wave turn. This wave turn over the station gives strong ejector airtime for the whole train. Iron Guasi quickly dips under the lift hill and flies into a little airtime hill that twists to the left, giving strong ejector airtime throughout the whole train and flinging your bum to the right side of your seat. Then the train quickly flies into another little wave turn, giving flow jack airtime for the whole train. And then Iron Guasi yet again flies you upside down into a zero g stall the train is hidden behind wooden structure as you go through the whole zero g stall making a great head chopper element then the right quickly flips you to the right and then it goes up to a strong ejector air time pop that quickly turns to the right making it quite aggressive for your lift hip and Guasi then flies up to the right and goes into a double down element these two air time hills on the double down both give strong ejector air time and Guasi then quickly banks to the right and then it goes into the last air time hill that dips down to the ground and yes this air time hill also gives strong ejector air time throughout the whole train and yet again with great speed Iron Guasi banks to the left and flies into the brake run and this brake run is quite aggressive because Iron Guasi still has a lot of speed left and that concludes the whole analysis of Iron Guasi's layout now I'm going to talk about my overall thoughts on this ride including pros and cons and then I'm going to give it a score from 1 to 10 and let me tell you Iron Guasi really is an unstoppable and incredible roller coaster there is not a single dull moment on Iron Guasi even the pre-lift section is quite intense and if I really had to choose one row on Iron Guasi I would choose the back row it doesn't really matter where you sit on Iron Guasi, you would still feel the strong ejector airtime. The only elements where front row and back row feels different is of course the first drop where you get ejector airtime in the back row because you get pulled down the whole, you know, drop. And also on the death row where you can really feel the pull in the back row giving stronger lateral forces. And it is also very hard to pick a favorite element on Iron Guasi because everything just hits. Some of these elements are so strong and aggressive with airtime that you could get bruised on your thighs. And after 25 rides on Iron Guasi, I could possibly say that I was bruised a bit. In general, this roller coaster is so forceful and intense that it could be too much for the general public. So, what score am I gonna give Iron Guasi? I'm gonna give Iron Guasi an 11 out of 10. And that's why my debate between Steel Vengeance and Iron Guasi is also done. Iron Guasi is better than Steel Vengeance. The pacing on Iron Guasi is so great and fast that I don't think any other roller coaster can compete. Other perfect rides like Voltron and Steel Vengeance still falls behind Iron Guasi, and that is because they lack the pacing that this ride has, man. 
oh my goodness and i can safely say as of today november 3rd 2024 iron Guasi is my number one roller coaster and i really don't see any roller coaster beating it soon and now we've sadly reached the end of this video did you love this video did you hate this video have you ridden iron Guasi or do you plan to ride iron Guasi? let me know in the comments and if you think i've missed some important points about iron Guasi, let me know in the comments and until next time i'm always gonna say bye bye